Hey, beautiful. Good afternoon to you. Uh, wherever you're watching us, this is uh, yours truly, Mr. Panuka. Uh, it's been a while since we had a chat here on our YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Panuka has been rather, you know, busy. Uh, we just had our, you know, Panuka graduate trainee program, you know, start today. We're doing induction, so there was that process of, uh, you know, screening through uh, the application. So yeah, uh, it's been a while. But anyway, I'm here. <laughs> And uh, I hope you're actually there as well. Um, yeah, so today we just wanted to show you um, our zucchini and um, uh, iceberg lettuce fields, uh, just to try and just show you uh, some of the different you know, irrigation systems that we actually use here at Panuka Farm. Uh, because sometimes um, there's, there's a perception that there's a very specific you know, irrigation system that you can actually use for certain crops um, but i think you can actually do a mix and match um, of different irrigation systems so what we have here is uh you know our zucchini squash um, on drip line um, we actually use two main uh, irrigation systems here there's a uh, drip and also a rain hose so i'll actually show you uh, the section that actually runs on um, uh, rain hose so this one is on drip uh, that's zucchini um, i think we just transplanted this um, um, about a week ago um, so it's quite a sea of uh, uh, zucchini squash I think all this section is actually all uh, zucchini so um, this section that is on drip line has actually been doing quite well um, obviously uh, with uh, you know drip lines um, quite efficient in terms of water use um, and uh, also less weeds you can actually see this section has no weeds uh, because we are only you know irrigating uh, on this uh, section so that's one of the huge huge advantages of um, uh, using uh, drip but of course sometimes if you don't uh, manage the uh, ammeters uh, you have you know cases where the, the plant uh, dries up because then it's not receiving uh, water so um, with drip lines you have to make sure that uh, you go through and just check that all the ammeters are actually uh, emitting uh, water so that's a critical uh, thing to take into account then comes this section uh, this one we're actually irrigating it using a rain hose um, the other section uh, that's the one on drip line and then this section is actually on a rain hose um, so with the rain hose uh, you actually have even you know irrigation uh, that's the beauty with um, rain hose but the only issue is that you tend to actually irrigate this section that has nothing um, so obviously the issue of uh, you know weed pressure is something that is bound to um, you know attack you um, but yeah, so those are some of the pros and cons of some of these different irrigation systems uh, for different crops. Uh, so one thing with zucchini squash, given its leafy nature, uh, we have to make sure that uh, uh, you have one line on this side, uh, and then uh, you have this huge, you know, space um, to make sure that uh, uh, there's enough aeration. Uh, zucchini, you know, grows quite uh, big; it's quite leafy. Uh, so <laughs> previous, we've actually made some mistakes sometimes where you actually squeeze it. Um, so you end up with an onslaught of powder mildew and other, you know, uh, fungal diseases. So yeah, something to take note of. And um, we recently, you know, got those uh, walking tractors, and uh, it's been doing a wonderful job. Uh, so with this space, you can actually, you know, weed using that walking tractor, uh, you know, in between. Uh, so that's that's something that you could actually consider, uh, just in case you're also a zucchini uh, grower. So this section of zucchini is actually on um, uh, rain hose and uh, it's been doing very well. Um, so like I indicated, you can actually see that it actually wets the whole bed, uh, even where there's no crop. So that's the difference with, um, um, you know, drip. Um, yeah, so that's the zucchini that we have. Beautiful. Um, we'll actually be harvesting some uh, shortly uh, to take to the market tomorrow. So let's just walk over to the younger uh, zucchini. Yeah, so you can actually do a mix and match of these uh, different irrigation systems. Um, so this is what I was talking about. We actually recently did the weeding with, um, you know, a walking tractor right here in the center. And uh, so far, it's actually kept the weed pressure, you know, under control. Um, so all this is, uh, you know, zucchini squash. Um, so this whole section that you actually see here uh, is actually meant for um, zucchini squash and uh, iceberg lettuce. We actually do rotate those. So that's why you're actually seeing 
uh, this whole section uh, right now getting extremely uh, busy okay so back to zucchini uh, you can actually see generally weed free um, and coming along very well um, this spacing has actually worked great for, for us uh, previously we actually used to squeeze them and we realized that attracted an onslaught of um, especially powdered mildew so uh, let's now check out um, you know some iceberg lettuce uh, you actually see also how we do the irrigation almost similar uh, to zucchini squash so this section has um, iceberg lettuce uh, you actually see with iceberg lettuce we actually squeeze it and like zucchini squash where we actually leave uh, uh, some space here for iceberg lettuce um, you know you can actually squeeze it given that it's not as leafy so this is the rain hose that we use for irrigation does a very good job um, so all this section that you're actually seeing here uh, that's uh, iceberg lettuce we just recently transplanted it at the same time with the zucchinis uh, so that's something that has actually kept us very busy um, it's more reason why mr. Panuka has actually been missing uh, on YouTube so all this is actually iceberg lettuce. Uh, so this whole section has actually been, you know, planted. Uh, so good progress. We're happy with the progress so far. Uh, for this section, this is for the older um, iceberg lettuce uh, that is on drip. Um, but what you already see is that um, there are a few um, issues in terms of uniformity. Um, you also have a few gaps. Uh, shortly, we'll actually be showing you the iceberg lettuce that is on um, uh, rain hose. Uh, you actually see quite some, you know, very good uniformity. Um, but drip still does a very good job, um, you know, in iceberg lettuce uh, irrigation. For iceberg lettuce, I think one irrigation system that you need to avoid is overhead, you know, like um, especially sprinklers. Uh, because of the splashes and um, you know, you still have to wash um, this iceberg lettuce uh, by the time you're actually getting into the market. So yeah, point of caution. So we talked about the issue of uniformity when you're irrigating with the rain hose. Um, this is the iceberg lettuce that we've had very good uniformity and uh, it's been quite an excellent, uh, you know, output. So rain hose is a good uh, option. So there you have it. Um, like we've shown you you can actually do a combination of these different uh, you know irrigation systems you don't have to be actually you know glued to one um, but again action research is actually very important try and use these different you know irrigation systems uh, different you know kinds of uh, you know uh, drip lines uh, just to assess their efficacy I think that's the name of farming uh, it's all about you know trying new things and um, making sure that you actually record uh, the lessons so that uh, uh, you take those into account uh, in your next crop so very very critical and um, can only wish you well in your farming journey uh, from mr panuka have a lovely one and uh, i hope to be a bit more consistent now with the uh, posts uh, now that uh, you know the graduate program is on and we've actually done uh, quite a number of uh, you know transplanting around the farm and uh, yeah things are looking up so thank you so much have a lovely one from wherever you're watching us Bye bye